what is going on brighter force today on this product review we are going to cover the uh dragon ball graphic novels uh one through ten because that's all they released they stopped at volumes 10 of dragon ball and volume 10 of dragon ball z uh these were released at the same time the comics were being released as well uh the graphic novels stopped right before the comics ended uh, the comics ended up going for about two more issues further than in the graphic novels side of things. Uh, so we'll, we'll get into that in more detail. Uh, after doing it for now, we're going to Volume 1. All right, here is Volume 1 of Dragon Ball Graphic Novels. As you can tell by the top, it says Viz Graphic Novel. Um, like I said, these were released hand-in-hand -hand with the comics while they were being released. Um... Here is the cover, the spine. It actually makes the same image as the Shonen Jump uh, mangas later released, uh, except they did not finish, of course. Here's the back, $15 retail value, pretty good. And here are the ISBN numbers, barcode numbers, UPC numbers, whatever you, we want to call them. I do not believe there was any color pictures in here. I like uh, some releases like the collector's edition and the limited edition and of course the full color. Uh, but that's it for volume one. Volume two. And I do believe these were released late 90s, early 2000s. I believe they got, they were canceled maybe 2002, 2003, question mark. Quote me in the comments below because I actually do not know. Um, volume two. Volume three of the graphic novel. I dig that art a lot. Volume 4. I, I never understood the covers for some of these mangas. Like, what, like were they just trying to do random things that had no tie into the storyline at all? That always made me uh, question things. But I also enjoyed it at the same time. Here we have Volume 5 of 42. Uh, and a fun fact to note about the graphic novels is... They were actually planning on, you know, counting Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z into one series. Obviously, like Japan did. And, uh, they ended up, I guess, scrapping that idea when they released Z. Now, give it that Dragon Ball Z is still called Dragon Ball Z on the graphic novel versions. But they ended up scrapping it all the way until they did the three-in-one editions. Which I really do enjoy, just for that fact. And this one, they dropped the price on this one. It's twelve ninety five. I don't, I don't. I wonder if they weren't selling good or not. Who knows? You have volume six. Son Goku. I like how they they pronounce how they spell it there with an H at the end. Pretty wild. The ISBN number. I don't know how hard these are to obtain now. I actually bought them a long time ago and was missing like four or five. And then I sold them because I didn't want them. I wanted the Shonen Jump versions. And then, then, then a few years later, I decided I wanted to get all U.S. media. And I had to buy them back. Which, it all works out in the end, I guess. Volume 8 of 42. Uh, I dig that cover a lot as well. And some of these covers are the same as the uh, Shauna Jump versions and same as the comics. Some of them. Price is still at $12.95 on this issue as well. All 
Alright, volume 9 of the Dragon Ball. This art is definitely on the comics, I believe. Could be wrong, though. Uh, I still gotta do the comics for a product review because I'm very excited with that. And the back. Twelve ninety five. So yeah, they definitely dropped the prices. I'm not sure. I wonder if Z has dropped. And now, last but not least, we have Volume 10 with my favorite cover of the graphic novels. At least on Dragon Ball. Ah. And the numbers. And uh, I forget every time. Uh, so I know the comics ended with issue 2 in the uh, King Piccolo arc. But I don't believe... I'm not sure if the, if the graphic novel is actually finished... Yeah, they never finished the Tien Shinhan tournament in uh they never finished the Tien Shinhan tournament in the graphic novels. But so like if you know I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. Let me find out. Yeah, see, it in it's still with uh Chatsu and Krillin in their match. Which is wild to me. So if you're looking to get further on, then go for the comics. Uh but obviously, if you want to finish the whole thing, you go for the Shonen Jump releases or the manga box sets. Yeah, yes, uh, that is volume 10 of graphic novels. Alright guys, and that is it for this product review of the graphic novels for the original Dragon Ball 1 through 10. And also, I did never notice that too, but look at that. The uh, artwork is a little off there. Never noticed that. I don't really have these on display currently because I have so many things. But yeah, that, no, nothing too special about these except the fact that they never finished them, they canceled them, and it, compared to the comics, that the comics went on a little bit further, like they finished the Tien Shinhan saga and got into the King Piccolo, versus where this just ended at the end of the Tien Shinhan saga and never finished the final match, or Krillin's match in the semifinals, I guess. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, it's the same thing as the comics. Except it just didn't go on as long. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know what you want to see in the next product review. Peace out, guys.